Axie Infinity has just banned 30,000 Axies from the ecosystem. And this is huge because 30,000 is a large chunk of Axies. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys the ban rules because I feel like it's about time that somebody covered an updated version of the ban rules and what's going on with Axie Infinity. So checking the news post. We see that overnight we executed a ban wave, blah, 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 because people were abusing the energy system. And what the energy system essentially was, was that people were sending axes to a friend after completing their daily SLP quest, which is the 25 SLP. Fairly easy to do. And they kept looping it over and over. They would just keep sending it to different wallets. If you weren't doing that, then you're not really in danger. Now, that's not really the only energy abuse that can be banned. Now, another one that can be banned is the people that have a lot of axes. Like, let's say you have 10 extra axes and you send, you know, 10 of them to a scholar account. Well, you keep cycling through, you know, and giving them essentially unlimited energy that is also bannable. So be sure that, you know, if you're giving extra axes to a scholar or yourself, that you don't keep transferring it in and out so that you can abuse the energy system. It's just, it's kind of common sense, right? But you, you have to know that. So... Reading Axie Infinity's Terms of Service is pretty interesting. I found a few things that I didn't know before. And that's that anyone creating fan art of Axies needs to either own or an Axie. But the thing is, you can be used, you can actually use these NFTs to generate a maximum of $10,000 in revenue. So the people that are doing like merch sales can just essentially use their own Axie on the merch. And that would be completely fine because technically it's your asset. Now, I didn't really know that. And I have not seen that used yet, so that's a pretty interesting idea. I might, I might think of something there, but that's something to think about. I've never known that. So something big, okay. I've had, I think, out of the 200 interviews I've done for Scholars, I probably had around 10 of them be underaged. I cannot hire minors. I, I don't know like what age you are or whatever, but in the Philippines, it's 18 years old. If you're under 18... There is no way I'm going to be hiring you because I live in the United States and here there are regulations and I have to cover myself because it is against the rules and I'm taking extra risk on top of the risk that I have, you know, just taking on scholars by hiring a minor. So I'm really sorry for, you know, all the minors that are trying to get into Axie Infinity. It's just not legal. I mean, you know, there are people, sure, but it's not legal and, and I, I can't take that risk, right? So you can't be a minor. Now... There is a thing called scripts, right? And people would think like, oh, all scripts are banned. Well, the scripts that are banned are the non-human scripts for the Axie Infinity game. So people that are multi-accounting in the Axie Infinity game with like robots that do scripts to do adventure mode, which automatically do adventure mode. Well, they're at risk of getting banned, right? And all those posts that you've seen online of like a guy, he's just looking at a screen with like 20 Axie Infinity clients. Those people are in big risk to get banned if they get found out if they get found out it's a guaranteed ban okay but the ones that are okay are things like axie.beer which helps you scholarship manage building public tools and bots such as you know the price calculators and breeding except when there's a breeding event happening so breeding automated breeding is okay but when they're doing the one millionth breeding event it's not okay Going on to my next point, the one that I was talking about earlier with the ban wave that just happened, it's like you will not manipulate the energy system such as gifting axes to make use of more energy. It's the same as multi-accounting. It's kind of the equivalent, right? You're just giving axes to multiple accounts, which is against the rules. So, I mean, it's kind of common sense, but I mean, some people try to get loopholes and a lot of them have been caught. They've done bigger ban waves in the past regarding this whole abuse of energy. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing is that if you have an inappropriate, obscene, or otherwise objectionable name, like if you have a very, you know, taboo name, it's they can remove, reclaim, or change the username if they select, you know, that it's okay to do. And if you keep breaking the rules, they can ban your axes. Now, another thing is things kind of like hacking and scamming. These are all, you know, very discouraged, and you will get banned for it. You know, those people that go like, Axie Mania owner or... Or like owner Axie Classy, like they have my name, but they're impersonating me. That is directly against the terms of service. So if we find out the Ronin of the people that do this, we can get the Ronin's ban. Like we can we can put the evidence in and get the Ronin's ban. We you cannot make improper use of our support services. So you can't just go to the support and be like, hey, this guy's breaking the rules. Please ban him, even though he didn't do anything. 
You can't trick, defraud, or mislead people. This is just all scamming. You cannot scam people in Axie Infinity. They actually have rules against that, so keep that in mind when you're playing Axie Infinity. Now, the last thing that a lot of people don't know is the whole Scholar rule. You can get connected accounts banned if you are a manager, so be sure that you connect you know, with your tre Trezor wallet and that you're careful that you know the Scholars are well aware of exactly what's going on you know you have to give them competitive rates so that they don't even get the notion of doing that that's why you know in Axiomania, you know we give good rates it's just like you got to be careful you got to cover yourself and be sure that you have multiple ways of trying to find out if they're multi-accounting because if they're multi-accounting it can kind of just ruin your entire investment in axi infinity that being said that's pretty much going to be all this is classy axi be sure to subscribe i do want to say you know talking about the topic of managers we do have axi mania guild which is in my link tree below in the description if you're a new manager trying to get into axi infinity we will help you you know, you can join our program completely free. There's there's zero catch. You can talk to us. We don't mind talking to you. And we'll help you get started. You know, just put on under the banner and let's grow the movement together. With that being said, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one.